So Andre, I have, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been out, and I know he was trying out the Roy at one point after a Pokemon trainer start. Yeah, he's had a bit of a character crisis, but uh, c currently he is a Pichu main. Right. Which is like... It's a fine main. It's a very, very uh, respectable choice, I believe. Yep. Um, because he... Um, yeah, it was, it had a character crisis, as a lot of people did coming in from Smash 4, it, like people whose mains were changed, not that much, but just enough to kind of make things sort of like difficult for you, you know, mm -hmm. uh, throw off all your muscle memory just a little bit. I um, feel like it's just the Marios that are continuing with their mains. Yes, yeah, they're so devoted. It's, yeah. it's hilarious. Also, a lot of the Bayos for like some reason. Mm. Um, oh, it's got to be, I, I feel for the Bayos, man. Yeah. They got like so bullied about know, playing a good character, and some of them I think just want to like prove a point. Yeah, and, kind yeah. of stubborn at this point when yeah. she's pretty squarely bottom tier, which is sad. Mm. But yeah, the Marios are very kind of loyal, which is cool to see. Yeah. And, and he still is actually quite a good character. Yeah, and not a bad character by any stretch. Mm. He really can do yeah. quite a few things. But yeah, so Zero Suit obviously lives Andre Smash 4 main, and in this game, uh, struggles to. has no throw combos, struggles to get the, like, the crazy early rage confirmed, stuff like that, which is something that Andre did a lot of in Smash 4, so the character just didn't click at all. So he kind of bounced around for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but now he seems to have settled on Pichu, which I think is a good pick because traditionally he was always a very evasive, kind of defensive player. You know? Yep very patient, use mobility a lot to his advantage to kind of stay out of range of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Just kind of danced around people with, with Zero Suit and that is something that Pichu is absolutely capable of doing. Yeah, really uh, small, tiny hitbox and some really unique characteristics yeah, in terms yeah. of the way that uh, her properties work when you try and hit her sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and it's um, it's such a weird, because people are like, oh, she's so light. Um, I assume Pichu's a she. Yeah, Honestly, I'm no. going with she. Uh, let's, oh, oh, yeah, that sounds... I'll stick with that. Um, Pichu can kind of pick aggressive options. You know, even even though Pichu's really light and vulnerable to getting killed early, Pichu can pick aggressive options, um, like out of disadvantage at times when other characters maybe would get punished for it because, mm -hmm. you know, like, as you said, the hurt box is so tiny, and the hurt, the hit boxes are like gigantic. You know, if yeah. you looked at the visualizations for like back air and stuff or down smash, where it's just the whole character is just this big ball of electric, fiery death. It's a horrifying little devil rat. Anyway. Pichu is a good character. Yep. So running their way through the strikes, we're doing nine stages, yeah. all uh, neutral, uh, no counter picks. So they do a, a two, four, with and pick from the remaining three. Mm -hmm. So it's good yeah. because we're coming up. Uh, it's the Sydney rule set, effectively, mm -hmm. except Sydney uses Pokemon Stadium one for some reason. Yeah. Um, which we're because coming up to Fent. Ask chat how the, how the audio is, whether or not the game. Yeah, hey chat, let us know how we're sounding. Are we sounding good? Is the game loud enough? Is yes, please, loud please enough? feel free to give, give some feedback. Or too loud, just uh, yeah. any feedback's welcome. Um, yeah, and uh, Con going for his fox. The trademark. The fabled fox. Alright. Fist bumps out there, they're ready. Okay. Taking it to town and city to start with. Big white stage, plenty of room for both of them to run around. Oh god, this is going to be like Pichu's basically kill percent already uh, in 10 seconds. That's going to be kind of rough, but Pichu has, can like dish out damage of his own. Yeah. Also, edge guard very hard. Uh, something which is very key against a Fox matchup. Of course, Con parried that. Yeah, the Con is the parry master. You know, the game's only been out for like three months. So why wouldn't you be parrying everything? He was the perfect shield uh, not. master before. He was. You're, you're absolutely right. And the right. tech master. Yeah, I saw him perfect shield, kind of like multi-hits in Smash 4. He'd go boom, 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 boom. It's only a matter of time before he's doing the same thing in this game. See, see if Andre can kind of like start racking up some combos of his own, because he has some fairly fearsome combos, I know that much. Went, went for kind of up air forward there. Fox ripped, ripped a bit far, but that's super dead. Yeah, wow, taking the back air right off to the side, and uh, yeah. Fast-paced game. Two Keeping stocks down in one minute. But Khan's stopping to think a bit with that reflector, just uh, assessing his options. Yeah. You can see him running in and out a bit. He's trying to find his opening. Definitely perfect shielding, like landing arrows from Peach will be a big thing in this game. But if, if um, Andre wants to, he can just kind of hang back and shoot Thunder Jolts for a while. Peach yep. doesn't take that much self-damage that it's really kind of a uh, consideration. No, that's right. And it does so much damage. It does like 11%, maybe like uh, 7, 6, depending on range. Now Fox, Khan off stage. Step back there again. Down throw. Mm. Just Ooh, tries to yeah. an option there, I think. 
Both characters kind of on the edge right now. Pichu with some fairly astounding kill power. Oh, no up there. Maybe just a little too far. Contrast trying to, to catch the landing. Yeah, trying to get that big up smash. Ooh, yeah. just F tilt him. Forward tilt, really good. Just Con was... Uh, got, kind of got a bit greedy almost. Tried to land back on stage instead right. of getting the ledge. Andre ready to, ready to like, cover it. Con still looking clean. Ooh! Holding the platform. How did he know? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to point out every single parry Con does, because I still find <laughs> it amazing. Man has the reflexes of like an 11 year old. He's choosing to just kind of get out of the way of the Thunder Jolts instead of like uh, shielding or reflecting them, which is you know, fair enough. Yeah, you get a fast faller and like a really good quick hop. Con has to go low here. Oh. The angle is fine. Yeah, yeah, it was quite. He's right on the ropes, eh? Oh. Ooh. A little too small, Pichu, maybe. Kind of dashes just a little past him. Yeah, same, thinking the same thing. Down throw. Con wisely doesn't DI all the way in. Gives uh, Andre more time to just rack up the damage. Yeah. So oh, no, it's going to be tough. But nice back, back air. Yeah, back air will take it. This is one of those matchups where it's kind of kind of like Foxy does in Smash. Ooh, nice, nice combo. The, 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 damage, the damage doesn't really matter. Con gets a couple of up airs and he's back in it. But he's going to have to make it back. He just does. Oh, no, Andre. He's... Oh. And a, a mini pop-off from Con. Yeah. He knows that that should have Kinda been... got away with murder there, I think. Yeah, that should have been Andre's. Um... But yeah, sometimes those greedy yeah. options are gonna be uh, he's, undoing. He's like, he's honing in on the, the the bright edge guard, you know. I reckon, I reckon we'll see it probably game two. He'll get that. It's like, oh, it was a little early, you know. Yeah. Goldilocks is like, that one's a little too early. That one was a little too late. This down air is just, just right. right. But yeah, he didn't he didn't actually get it. He he got one edge guard on the first stock there with the with the back arrow stage, but um, he didn't really kind of cover the low option very well, and Con kept going for that. So mm -hmm. we'll see if Andre can like try to do that. Because also, worst comes to worst, you can just go for like the the stage spike as well with you know Pichu's back air or something like that. It's and got a big disjoint, so it kind of beats um, Firefox quite well. Con being the sports guy, bringing a towel to like dry his hands—that's the meta that's man. So that's yeah, so smart. That's so smart. He's a clever guy. The the actual the real strategy is. Um, do you, last year there was the Smash Ultimate kind of invitational event. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a bunch of people went to part of the merch for that. You got a, a Nintendo Smash Ultimate branded hand towel, which I keep me. I know I keep meaning to bring it there. Say no more. <laughs> that I feel that would just be kind of the most stylish option possible, honestly. Yeah, rocking I got up, rocking up with a Nintendo hand towel, just trying, you know. With Club Nintendo had a, a Yoshi final. And anyway, that's all we're going to say okay. about that. Let's Enough about hand towels. Game two. <laughs> oh, F2 trip. And a big combo coming out. Goes for a down air, actually. Continues it with the back air. Yep. And, uh, yeah. So, Con playing an aggressive. He uh, wants to make sure he can seal this Ooh. win. And, yeah. Raw support uh, up smash. Got that kill so early. Yeah. Andre's going to have to be careful about, like, up being maybe a bit randy with approaching aerials. Gonna back go for throw. a back throw. Try to cut. Get Hedge Guard again, but Con wisely side beast. Gonna go for it again. F tilt, so, so very nice. Uh -oh. Oh. oh, can he? Yeah, he's done it again, Andre. Oh, it was like a few pixels off. Oh, my heart, my heart is breaking. Yep. It's like, just because it's deceptively long range, but it's also like never goes quite as far as you want to be. Nice Edge Guard. Well, that's it. The, uh, the more angle you get, the less height you're gonna get. Yeah. So, yeah. so you gotta get like the perfect. It's, oh my god. He's a madman. They're both madmen. Not to be confused with the television, television series show. madman. Yeah. yeah, shout out to John Hamm. Um, <laughs> parry again, Con. Every yeah. every aerial he's doing it. That's he just knows. I remember Con, Con talking to me about like I'm just like, dude, how do you how do you parry things so early? He's just like it's just like a power shield but in reverse. It's like yeah, okay. I like I get it. I can't do. Oh my god, oh, that's a reset. so nice. Goes for goes for down smash, maybe because of damage. Uh, keep up smash as fresh as possible. All right, forward air. Yeah, gonna Off stage oh, no, and no. there's a footstool and oh. that was untackable too. Yeah, that, he got, had the red sparks. Uh, Sent up to loser's side, yeah. Andre, um, who I've played really remarkably well. I, I feel he, he played like 
where it's just little mistakes cost him stocks basically. Yeah. Uh, Got to go back back to the lab, I think. I think I might have to play. Soon. And Con, he's looking a little, a little bit dissatisfied with the win. Yeah. He knows that uh, his good friend, you know, deserves a, a closer game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a win That's to win. That's unfortunate. 